A meteor hit close to a U.S. Air Force base in Greenland, it was confirmed by NASA but the Air Force has remained silent. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory listed the impact on their website. The impact occurred a little over 26 miles north of Thule Air Base on July 25th. The meteor was traveling at 15 miles per second. On August 3rd, the Military Times published an article with the headline, No, a meteor did not destroy Thule Air Base. The Military Times attributed a Fox News report, that was re-upped from Australian media, for providing rocket fuel for a frenzy of reporter calls to a surprised base and NASA spokesman. Thule's media spokesperson, Steve Brady, of Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado but handles Greenland's media inquiries, said, No, we don't have any reports of damage, why are we getting calls on this now? On August 1, the director of the Nuclear Information Project for the Federation of American Scientists, Hans M. Christensen, tweeted about the meteor. Christensen wrote that the meteor had 2.1 kilotons of force. He noted that the base, correctly concluded it was not a Russian first strike. There are nearly 2,000 nukes on alert, ready to launch. Speaking to Business Insider, Christensen said, had the meteor entered at a more perpendicular angle, it would have struck the Earth with significantly greater force. Christensen notes that meteors head towards Earth once every 13 days but most burn up in the atmosphere. In February 2013, a meteor exploded over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk, injuring nearly 2,000 people, mainly due to broken glass. That meteor was visible from 60 miles away in the sky. Writing on NASA's website, Planetary Defense Officer Lindley Johnson, said of that incident, the Chelyabinsk event drew widespread attention to what more needs to be done to detect even larger asteroids before they strike our planet. This was a cosmic wake-up call. In the wake of that incident, the International Asteroid Warning Network was established. Air Force Base is home to the 12th Space Warning Squadron that uses a ballistic missile early warning system which tracks nuclear weapons which are fired at the United States.